Hey guys, my name is Chandan and you're watching Educate India. In this video, we are going to learn about Azure Cloud Virtual Machine. So we are going to create one virtual machine. Virtual machine acts like a computer. So it can have its own storage area. It can have its own operating system. And uh, we just need to connect using IP address. So we can use virtual machine for multiple purposes. Like we can use as a server. We can use like a normal computer. So let's create a virtual machine in Azure Cloud. So you can find it in Azure services or you can go to the portal menu. Here you have option of virtual machines. You just need to click here. And after that, right now you can see no virtual machine to display because I don't have any virtual machine. So if I want to create a new, so I just need to hit this create button and then virtual machine. So I need to fill the basic details, disk details, networking, management, and some advanced options. Okay, so we'll start with the basic details. First, we need to provide the project details. So here you need to select the subscription. So you know, like in Azure Cloud, we need a subscription for everything. So here I, I want to create one virtual machine. So I need to use a subscription. So I'm using free trial subscription and all your billing related things will be associated with this subscription. So here I have selected free trial and then you need to provide a resource group name. So I have already created one resource group that I'm going to use Educate India Live. And if you don't have any resource group, you can create a new resource group by just clicking create new and just provide the resource group name. It is going to create a resource group for you. After that, we have some instance details. So here you have a virtual machine name. So we just need to give a name to the virtual machine. So let's say VM Demo Educate India. Okay, so this is my virtual machine name. And then we need to select a reason. So we have a drop down where we have multiple options. You can select any reason. So I have selected US East. And then we have availability options. So here we have availability zone or availability set. In case of availability zone, it physically separates your resources within an Azure region. And availability set that automatically distribute your VM across multiple fault domain. So here we have concept of fault domain and update domain. So we'll discuss about fault domain and update domain in upcoming videos. So here I'm going to select availability zone and then I need to provide a number. So let's say one. Okay. So once I selected the availability zone, then the next thing is I need to select a image. So image is just your operating system or application. So you can see choose the base operating system or application for the virtual machine. So we can click on see all images. So if you'll click, so it will redirect you to the marketplace. We are calling it Azure marketplace. And here you have all the options available. What kind of virtual machine you want to create. So you want to create Windows Server or you want to create Red Hat, Ubuntu, Linux. You have multiple options, container related, database related. You know, you want to create uh, any database or all the options you will find here in the marketplace. You can go down. You can see SQL Server, Windows Server, all virtual machines you can create here. So I'm just going to create one compute resource and I'm going to create one Windows machine and uh, that should be Windows Server 2019 generation two. So I have selected the image. We have one option of Azure Spot instance that offers unused Azure capacity at discounted rate. But right now we are not going to use for this particular image. And uh, then we are going to select the size. So you need to define the size, like what, what should be the CPU, number of CPU, then what should be your memory in the virtual machine. So all the sizes you can see here, you just need to click on see all sizes and then it will redirect you to this page. Here you have option to select the different VMs. So they have categorized in different, different series. So you have D series, B series, A series and different multiple options. So right now uh, I'm going to use B series, but if you see D series, so we have multiple options. So here you have like uh, VM size, then uh, number of CPUs, what uh, size of RAM you want to use for your project, and then data disk and uh, temporary storage, and it will show the cost also. So Azure is showing you cost also, like if you're going to use, let's say B1S, so you're going to pay 736 rupees per month. Okay, so this is cost per month. And then in this particular case, we are going to get uh, two data disks and uh, one GB RAM and one CPU. Okay. 
so it, this is kind of different different options available so you just you can select you know as per your need you can select any different kind of vm size so i'm going to use b1s because i'm using free trial this comes under the free trial so i'm going to select b1s and i have selected b1s series and uh, then i need to give the username educate india admin and i can define a password okay so after that there is some port rules so we can define public inbound ports and we can allow selected ports so right now it's rdp is allowed so i'm going to connect using rdp so i'll not modify but if you want to add any other ports like http https ssh so you are free to allow add it okay and then you have some licensing information like would you like to use an existing windows server license then you can select it right now i don't have any license so i'm not selecting it and you can directly click on review and create and you can go to the review page you can just uh, see like what option you selected and then you can hit on create there but i'll not go to review and create because we just want to explore some other options so let's go to next disk option here you have disk options like what will be the operating system disk type so here you have options like ssd hdd you can use ssd or hdd hdd as per your need if you want operating system that should have a very high performance and uh, you want to use it for production environment so then you can use for ssd and uh, if you just want to store some backups or some data so you can go for hdd and then we have some ultra disk option also so like for top tier databases like sql oracle you can use ultra disk so right now i'm going to use standard ssd so it's telling the selected vm size supports premium disk we recommend premium ssd high ops workloads but you know i just want to create a normal virtual machine so i don't want to install any database or any other thing so i just want to create one basic virtual machine so i just selected a standard ssd and then we have some additional option of encryption you can select as per your need so i'm just keeping it default and then if you want to attach some more disk so you have option of attaching any existing disk or you can create and attach a new disk here in the networking we have virtual network so you should always have a virtual network for a vm so here either you can create a new virtual network or if you have already created so you just need to select it and virtual network will have subnets subnet will have a kind of range of ips so you just need to select a subnet and if you want to manage it so you can uh, click here and you can manage the subnet right now i'll use the default subnet for that v virtual network so public ip are useful when you want to connect to that vm from the outside of the virtual network so then you need a public ip so you can say use a public ip address if you want to communicate with the virtual machine from outside the virtual network in that case you will need a public ip so i already have selected the public ip and then some additional options for rdp inbound ports and security we'll go to the management so here also you have some monitoring options like enable with managed storage account or you have some azure active directory related like login with azure ad that, that kind of option you have some backup related options or auto shutdown so there are different options and uh, if you go to advance so yeah, here you have option of user data so if you want to enable user data so that you can use it so we'll just directly go to tags now and then you can define a tag for your resources so you can give any key value pair like any tag name and the value of that particular tag and then finally we'll go to the review and create so you can see it's saying validation passed it means we have provided all the necessary details and it's showing product details like we have selected standard b1s by microsoft and this is the cost for this particular product and it is showing some terms and then it is showing all the basic details like uh, we have selected free trial resource group virtual machine name everything whatever we selected and it's showing the disk details networking details and some advanced options okay so we have already selected everything now we are going to hit the create so 
So you can see it's showing initializing deployment. So it has started the deployment. Azure is trying to create this virtual machine. So deployment is in progress. It will take some time. Okay, so now you can see deployment succeeded. Your deployment is complete. So it took around uh, two to three minutes to create this particular virtual machine. And now we can go to resource. And in resource, we can see the overview. So it is showing all the basic details of that virtual machine. So the status is running, then the location, then subscription, and what is the operating system, what is the size, and it is also showing the public IP. So we are going to connect to this machine using this public IP. Then it is showing some additional information like networking related, disk related, and you'll find all the information in this overview page. And then you have option to connect, you have option to restart, stop it, or delete it. So you have multiple options here only. Okay. So we are going to connect to this particular virtual machine. So we'll copy this. Either you can click here, or I'm going to use this remote desktop connection. So I'll just copy this public IP and I'll say add and then I'll connect it. So it's asking for the user ID and password that we provided. Let's continue. So now it's trying to connect to this particular machine. So right now I'm using Mac, but we have created a Windows machine. So from Mac also we'll be able to connect to Windows virtual machine. So you can see it's starting. And now we have successfully logged in to this Windows machine. And this will look like a normal computer, right? So you can use all the Windows feature here. So it's a normal Windows machine. And if I'll open the file explorer, so you can see, so you have the C drive and temporary D drive. So here you have option if you want to stop that virtual machine, you just need to click on stop and that is going to stop it. And again, if you want to start, so then again, you need to click on start after the stop. And if you want to remove this, you can click on delete and uh, you have some settings related to network. So we can go there. And if you want to add any inbound port rule, so you can add it here. And you have option of outbound port also, application security groups, load balancing, everything you can add it and then this is connection information disk information like right now the size of disk you can see here here it is showing we have selected the b1s and then we have some additional settings and uh, in the down you can see you have some option for backups inventory policies you want to run any command so you have some additional options here if you want to enable the monitoring so that also you can do it here okay so in this video, we learned how we can create a virtual machine within Azure Cloud. In the next video, we are going to learn how we can create the virtual machine within the AWS Cloud. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can create EC2 instance within the AWS Cloud. And in the upcoming videos, we'll try to explore some more features of Azure and AWS Cloud. So till then, take care, stay tuned, keep learning, and thanks for watching.